What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chiefs Priority here with another video. And basically, what I want to tell y'all is that the Kansas City Chiefs are dangerous as hell. Now, first of all, okay, in the first two picks, right, I didn't like it much, right? The FAU pick, I didn't like it much. But the way that the draft ended out panning out, that makes me have no problem with the FAU pick. And I, I don't mind the Rasheed Rice pick. I think it's just another receiver for Mahomes. Mahomes is going to spread the ball out to all of these dudes. Uh, um, but, yo, Veach killed it towards the end. Like, bro, Wanya Morris, you don't understand, bro. That, that was one of my favorite tackles in this draft, bro. And he played with Trey Smith before. Like, that was just perfect, bro. That was really one of my favorite right tackles in the draft. Like, I wanted him on the Chiefs so bad. And um, so that, that pick got me hyped. That's a hella good pick. Wanya Morris, probably going to be hella good. He, he went to Oklahoma. So he had a lot of one sack in Oklahoma. So that's not hard to do. I mean, that's not easy to do. And then you got um towards the later on picks, you got the safety that they picked in the fourth. I liked him. He looked athletic. Oh, he's a bad pick. I liked the Nick the Nick Jones pick. That was hella nice. The Keandre Colburn, that had that has to be my favorite pick. That and Wanya Morris are my favorite picks. Like I think the Keandre Colburn, we just gotta steal and like this team is just getting scarier and scarier, man. They trying to really build something here in Kansas City with the defense and stuff. But Let's get into the UDFAs that the Chiefs has signed. Well, we're not going to get straight into the UDFAs, actually. But we're going to get into our draft. So, first, in the first round, we picked FAU. Um, I think it's a good thing. Dream come true for him, right? But I don't. I didn't like it at first, but now it's kind of growing on me that he's just going to be a developmental edge rusher with high upside. Rasheed Rice. I didn't really like the Rasheed Rice pick either, but then it grew on me in like 10 minutes, bro. Once I seen his edits and... His swag and shit. I was like, all right, you know what? We cool with him. Third, Wanya Morris. That, that was my favorite pick, like I said. Hold on. Let me just take a look at everything else. So then we picked that cornerback. He's very hybrid named Jamari Connor, which was a very good one. So I kind of had I like, even though I didn't know him, I really liked his, like, athleticism and his weight and his height. And then you picked, um, Beach picked BJ Thompson. Now, I fucking love this pick because the, the, he this dude was on my radar, right? BJ Thompson is on my radar. So then after that we pick Keandre Colburn. I think we ended it off with um with boy Nick Jones. So bro, I ain't gonna lie, like Veach may have a, like some more late round steals. And I, that's the only thing, like I don't I'm not the biggest Veach fan, but when it comes to the late round draft picks, Veach he does that shit. I ain't gonna lie, he does that shit. When it comes to finding scheme fits, he does that shit. He hard at that. But yeah, now we finna get into the UDFAs, and this is the exciting part because there's a lot of potential. And a lot of players with high upside. We just got a very good running back who maybe Pacheco part two. Who anybody could run behind this O line. So yeah. So we got three wide receivers. Then we got a running back. I like the running back, 220 pounds. He was a 4.41. Got a lot of O linemen. Got some um got a tackle. Got a cornerback. Got Cam Jones. Yo, that Cam Jones, that could really be a steal. I was looking at his tape. And he's actually hella good. But um yeah, all of that. That's like that's just good UDFA pickups, and it's probably more that I didn't see yet. And it's honestly like, damn, like I doubted Veach right in the second, the two, the first two rounds, but I just didn't remember, man. Veach go crazy at them last rounds, like that. He don't just like, bro. I'm so happy he at least got like two people I want. Wanya Morris and Keandre is both on my draft radar, so I'm just happy he got two people I wanted. Keandre, that's a big dude, bro. He like 340. That man, that boy about to be, <laughs> that boy about to eat, eat in the middle of man. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, um. I'm going to show y'all one more thing, and then we're going to wrap this video up. So, we was third in best value draft class, so I guess it wasn't a bad draft. I mean, it wasn't. I'm not going to say I guess. It really wasn't. It was a solid draft. Could it keep up with last year? I doubt it, but it's going to add on to last year. It's probably going to go back to the Super Bowl. I mean, we still got people that didn't, like, fully develop yet. And we coming off a Super Bowl season, so I think we're going to be good. Um, Yeah, everything I say on Twitter, bro, if y'all taking that serious, you got to get a life, bro, because I really don't be playing. I just, bro, I swear to God. Me up here and on Twitter is two different apps. Like on Twitter, I just be, bro, I don't care. Like it's Twitter, bro. But up here, I say everything. So anything I say up here, you have to take it serious because that's my take. Twitter, I just like trolling people. But anyways, your boy Chiefs Priority. I had to get y'all a late video. I just woke up. I had a big nap. Woke up to some good news about the Chiefs. And yeah, man, I'm happy. So your boy Chiefs Priority. I'm out, man. Peace.